Yep, all of those clips aren't edited. Well technically, I edited them to make the video sequence, lol. But yeah, this is Artillery Craft Remastered. Welcome back to another video everyone, my name is Raboy. I have taken a look at this century old add-on, lol. I thought this add-on would be a flop but a lot of you guys actually liked it. So, I've decided to make a massive makeover for it, adding lots of crazy improvements like particles and animations, and tons of bug fixes and changes. Alright so here we go, first, we will take a look at the smallest gun in this add-on which is the Basilisk Cannon. Now from the previous version, you will only have to craft one item for each gun and you're pretty much done, that's it. And now, to make things realistic, you will first have to craft their components to build them. Okay, so, for the Basilisk Cannon, we need to first make its base using this crafting recipe right here, and notice the 3D item? This also applies for all items in this add-on, and you can see them later on in the video. Now, for the next component is its ball joint. I don't know why I called it ball joint. Lol it sounds pretty funny I know. Next is its barrel using this recipe right here, and finally, its magazine that contains its ammunition. Let's now move on to the construction of the cannon itself. First, place the base on the ground like so. Next is you should hold the ball joint in your main hand and right click it with the base you just placed. Now if you're on mobile, you should see a construct cannon button. Following the ball joint, we have the barrel, just do the same thing with the previous one and you're pretty much done. Now, here are the new mechanics for the Basilisk cannon. From the previous version, all cannons can only be loaded and fired manually with their respective shell types one at a time. And now, all cannons have their own unique mechanics. For the Basilisk cannon, it can now fire 9 rounds in semi-automatic mode. That's amazing! And this is the only gun that you don't load its artillery shell directly. You will first have to make its magazine using its artillery shells as a recipe. To make the magazine, you will need 9 small artillery shells placed in the crafting table just like this. I will show you the recipes of each artillery shell type on the video later on. Once you made the magazine, Hold it in your main hand and right click it on the Basilisk cannon, and it will automatically reload. Now it will take exactly 4 seconds for the gun to reload. Now here comes the interesting part. Each of the guns in this add-on can now be operated remotely up to 64 blocks away. This way, you can see their new, realistic firing animations, and even fire them all at once if you have multiple cannons of the same type, and it will look like this. Now that is amazing in my opinion. It's even more awesome to look at it at night as they now have muzzle flash. This will light up the world for a brief moment when the guns fire for added realism. Now, the Basilisk Cannon is the only gun which can fire semi-automatically, which means when you fire the weapon, you can fire it again after it has recovered from recoil for exactly 3 seconds without having to use the remote again to load another round. This gun has a range of approximately 15 chunks and an explosive power of 7. Once the magazine is empty, the weapon will transition back to its unloaded state like this. To reload the weapon, you just need to make another Basilisk Cannon magazine which we talked about earlier to give itself another 9 rounds. Now let's take a look at 5 Basilisk Cannons emptying their magazines all at once. I really like the new firing animation, it gives it that powerful look, that is amazing. Let me share a quick tip for you guys, if you want to download my add-ons without ads, you can support me on Patreon to download my add-ons already pre-compiled and ad-free, direct downloads. Now most of you can't find a single file when you extract my add-ons, and some of the important codes are unreadable to make any changes at all. By becoming a patron, you can get access to the raw text versions of my add-ons for you guys who want to know how my add-ons work, plus the files are not hidden so you can make personal changes to the add-on you're using. You can also access VIP exclusive, modded versions of my add-ons there. I am currently making a no reload mod for artillery craft, but I haven't started it yet, and this mod will make artillery craft 10 times more immersive. And if you're just feeling generous and want to support me while I'm making add-ons, you can support me now on Patreon, and it really helps me a lot guys, your support will be highly appreciated and makes add-on development worth grinding for. For more information, I have provided the link to my Patreon page in the video description. Moving on, we now have the new and improved Alistair Siege Cannon. Now this was the latest addition to the add-on from the previous version, and it also now has new mechanics, and the Alistair Siege Cannon now holds 7 rounds in its stocks. To build the cannon, of course, we need to first make its components, for this weapon, it has 3 components. First is the base, next is its chassis, and finally, the weapon's barrel. 
Similarly, to the Basilisk Cannon, we need to put the base on the ground first. Next is we need to interact with it using the chassis item. And finally, the barrel to finish its construction. To load its stocks, we just need artillery shells for the ammunition. Right-click the cannon while holding its artillery shell, you should see a reload button when you're on mobile. Now this gun can hold 7 artillery shells in its stocks. To actually load a round into its barrel, hold its remote control in your main hand and right-click to load the gun. If you're on mobile, just tap and hold the screen while you're holding the item similar to as if you're eating food. This mechanic also applies to all other guns except for the Basilisk Cannon of course. It will automatically reload once you give it a magazine. Now this weapon takes 10 seconds to reload and 3.5 seconds of recoil recovery time. It has a firing range of approximately 22 chunks which is significantly longer than the Basilisk Cannon, and its rounds have an explosive power of 15, pretty decent firepower. Let's see how three of them reload and fire all at once. That is amazing to look at as well. There you have it guys, the Alistair Siege Cannon. Hey everyone, if you're liking the video so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more high quality Minecraft add-ons. Finally, for the biggest and most powerful artillery gun as of now, this is also my favorite one. Let's now take a look at the massive Typhon Heavy Cannon. Some of you who have downloaded the previous version of this know how this gun previously looks. I have made significant improvements to this gun, and the most notable change in its appearance is the crane. This weapon can now hold 4 massive rounds that can be fired up to 25 chunks away. It also has the most powerful explosive power of any shell which is also 25. This beast right here can basically one hit a whole village, lol. To build this weapon, we need lots of netherite to support its ginormous size and not tear itself to pieces when firing its heavy rounds. Okay so, first is we need to build a reinforced rail, the recipe for this item looks like this. Next is we need to build the chassis to support the barrel itself. After that, we now need to build the massive barrel for this gun. And finally, we need to build the crane to carry and load the massive rounds to the barrel. Now, we need to first place the reinforced rail on the ground, and right-click it with the chassis, barrel and finally, the crane. And we now have a full constructed, fully operational Typhon heavy cannon that's ready for some action. Alright, so to add ammunition to its stocks, right-click the gun using heavy artillery shells. This gun can hold 4 ammunitions in its stocks as I have said earlier. This gun takes 25.3 seconds to reload and 12 seconds to recover from recoil. The loading and firing mechanics are the same as the Alistair Siege Cannon. Now let's have this big boy fire a single round. Wow, that is an amazing firepower. You can literally feel its power by just looking at the firing animation. Now we have already talked about how each cannon now works and how to build them. How can we actually make each of their remote controls? It's actually very simple. You just need one recipe for all of the remotes. When crafting this one recipe, it will give you all three remote controls for each gun for convenience's sake. Their recipes for the artillery shells were also unchanged. You can still craft them using the old recipes. But I will still show you the recipes for them for the new viewers. For the small artillery shell, the recipe looks like this. For the artillery shell or the medium artillery shell, it looks like this. And finally, for the heavy artillery shell, the recipe looks like this. I made this update survival friendly so you can use this in your multiplayer worlds, and in case you want to relocate the cannon, I fixed the artillery gun remover item, and you can now use this to essentially destroy the cannons and rebuild them somewhere else, and its recipe is also unchanged, and it's still the good old T-shaped pattern using iron ingots, and now you're ready for some action. Oh wait, there's one more feature I want to talk about, and it's the cannons are now rotatable. Now this is a highly requested feature and this definitely improves the gameplay experience. To do this, you just need to ride the cannons while holding a spyglass. This way, you will have the ability to better aim the guns. Before we end this video, you can also join my Discord server for insights of what I am currently working on, and generally chat with me. See you there guys! Thank you so much for watching, leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, peace!